May 14th, Purified by Blood The word covenant not only means an agreement, but also carries the idea of a last will and testament. If a man writes his will, that will is not in force until he dies. It was necessary for Jesus Christ to die so that the terms of the new covenant might be enforced. Even the old covenant was established on the basis of blood. The book of the law was sprinkled with blood, and so were the people and the tabernacle and its furnishings. Blood was also used in the administration of the tabernacle service. Under the old covenant, people and objects were purified by blood, water or fire. This was ceremonial purification. It meant that the persons and objects were now acceptable to God. The purification did not alter the nature of the person or object. God's principle is that blood must be shed before sin can be forgiven. Since God has ordained the remission of sins is through the shedding of blood, and since purification comes through the sprinkling of blood, it is necessary that blood be shed and applied if the new covenant is to be in force. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 verses 7, But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his Son, cleanseth us from all sin. Also consider Hebrews chapter 9 verses 14 to 23, Exodus chapter 24 verses 3 to 8. Take time to confess your sin to God. Ask Him to purify your thoughts so that the things you do today will flow out of obedience. Amen.